Mario Balotelli, the Italian football sensation known for his crazy talent and off-the-wall behavior, was football's ultimate bad boy king. He had a special place in the hearts of football fans worldwide, kind of like that eccentric uncle you can't help but adore. On his good days, Balotelli was a force of nature on the pitch, a mix of swagger and unstoppable self-confidence. But despite being one of the most talented players of his generation, Balotelli's career never quite reached the boiling point everyone expected, and the blame often landed on his rebellious attitude, which seemed to attract controversy like a magnet. Now, let's dive into the memorable moments of his wild journey. These are 10 crazy things you didn't know about Mario Balotelli. It's me, Mario. Mario Balotelli's journey into mischief began when he was just a young lad, starting out at Lumazane. Back then, he was infamous for his unconventional and, let's say, unorthodox antics. Picture this. Mario, with all the subtlety of a bull in a china shop, had a knack for relieving himself on people's belongings. Yes, you heard that right. Urinating on bags, fresh laundry, and sometimes, if luck wasn't on your side, even on the unsuspecting individuals themselves. It was as if he had a personal vendetta against inanimate objects. His teammates and coaches were often left scratching their heads, wondering what on earth was going through his mind. Maybe he huh? just had a unique way of marking his territory, or perhaps he was convinced that this was some bizarre form of team bonding. But one thing was for sure, Mario's reputation for mischief began long before he became the household name he is today. Another example of this. Back in the day when Inter had a crucial European match and the pressure was through the roof, Jose Mourinho found himself in a tricky situation. Mario Balotelli was the only fit striker available, but there was a tiny problem. He already had a yellow card to his name. Mourinho, with his usual charisma, decided to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Balotelli during the halftime break. I spent, I would say, 14 minutes of the 15 speaking only for Mario. Mario, I cannot change you. I don't have a striker on the bench. Don't touch anybody. Play only with the ball. When we lose the ball, no reaction. If somebody provocates you, no reaction. If the referee makes a mistake, no reaction. Mario, please. But things didn't go as planned. Just a minute into the second half, in the 46th minute to be precise, Balotelli saw red. And I don't mean he got angry. I mean he got a straight red card. Mourinho, who's known for his managerial magic, must have felt like he was trying to tame a wild stallion. The frustration was evident in Mourinho's post-match comments when he dubbed Balotelli unmanageable. It's safe to say that on that fateful day, even the special one couldn't work his magic on Super Mario. Balotelli's antics continued to keep everyone on their toes, both on and off the field. In one of his classic Balotelli moments, our man Mario managed to turn a simple car accident into a spectacle. Picture this, he crashes his sleek Audi R8 on his way to training, and the police, naturally, are a bit suspicious. After all, not everyone carries around 25,000 pounds in cash in their back pocket, right? So when the officers ask him about the stack of cash, Balotelli, with his trademark nonchalance, simply responds, because I am rich. His response probably left the police scratching their heads, wondering if they were dealing with a football star or a modern-day wizard who could conjure money out of thin air. But that was just Balotelli being Balotelli, a player who could score goals, create chaos, and provide unforgettable one-liners, all in a day's work. Balotelli's antics just kept coming. After his Audi R8 incident, he decided to try his hand at a unique version of darts. From a first-story window at Manchester City's academy, he started lobbing darts at the unsuspecting academy players below. Of course, this didn't go unnoticed, and he ended up with a hefty 100,000 pounds fine. When asked why he did it, his response was typically Balotelli-esque. I was bored. It's like he had a built-in boredom switch that led to these wild antics, leaving us with hilarious stories and Balotelli with some expensive lessons. Believe me, this boredom switch wasn't hard to activate. Balotelli had some decent moments at Inter Milan, but he also had this knack for stirring up trouble. Picture this, he openly, and I mean openly, cheered for their arch nemesis AC Milan. And then the guy goes and wears an AC Milan shirt during a TV interview. Talk about pouring gasoline on the fire. It was like showing up at a barbecue wearing a Vegetarians Unite t-shirt. As you can guess, Inner's fans didn't take it well. His jersey switcheroo during the interview turned out to be the grand finale that sent him packing from Inter. Balotelli sure knew how to keep things interesting, 
even if it meant making a few enemies along the way. Speaking about making enemies, Balotelli found himself with a clear path to the goal, and instead of a straightforward finish, he decided to go full on fancy. He attempted an audacious back heel to wrap up the play. Well, let's just say it didn't quite go as planned. He ended up scuffing the shot, and you'd think he'd be all like, oops, my bad, right? Nope, Balotelli was his unapologetic self and didn't seem to mind at all. But oh boy, his coach, Roberto Mancini, was not having it. He was fuming. Mancini didn't waste a second and promptly yanked Balotelli off the field. It's like he said, Mario, this is a football field, not a circus. Balotelli's flair for the dramatic definitely kept things interesting, that's for sure. We've all seen this. When it came to celebrating goals at Euro 2012, Balotelli had a rather muted approach, which left fans and pundits scratching their heads. But when a journalist questioned his lack of enthusiasm after a match, Balotelli fired back with a memorable response. He chuckled and said, Look, I'm just doing my job out there. You don't see a postman doing backflips every time he delivers letters, do you? And then, the man lived up to his word. He scored a goal against Germany and treated us to one of the most iconic celebrations ever seen. It was like he'd won the World Cup, the lottery, and a dance-off all at once. Balotelli had a knack for making every moment unforgettable, both on and off the field. Talking about off the field, Balotelli once turned his Manchester home into a firework battleground, causing thousands of pounds in damage. It was like a Hollywood explosion scene in his bathroom. The very next day, he made an unforgettable statement with a t-shirt that read, Why always me? It was as if he was the universe's favorite joke. But here's the twist. Later that season, he became the face of a firework safety campaign. Yes, the same guy who treated his bathroom like a firework show was now preaching safety. Balotelli's life was a roller coaster of surprises, no doubt about it. He definitely surprised Manchester City with this one. Balotelli was sent on a top secret mission to get an ironing board for his fancy new Manchester digs. But did he return with a mundane ironing board like the rest of us? Nope, not a chance. Instead of the expected ironing board, this guy shows up with a quad bike, a trampoline, because why not bounce while you iron, and a scale extra set. It's like he thought he was furnishing a playground, not a home. You can just imagine Manchester City's reaction. Oh boy, we've got a real live action hero on our hands here. They probably realized right then and there that their new signing was going to keep things interesting, both on and off the pitch. Balotelli, the master of turning a simple shopping trip into a wild adventure. He was also the master of fashion as well, at least he thought so. Italy had just unveiled a shiny, brand new home kit, and there was quite a buzz about it. It was all set for its grand debut during the second half of Italy's first match wearing the fresh gear. But here's where Balotelli, being Balotelli, added his own unique twist to the story. When the team was supposed to emerge in their spanking new jerseys, there was one exception, Balotelli. Instead of showcasing the latest fashion on the field, he decided to stick with the old kit, and when asked why, his response was as nonchalant as ever. I didn't like the new one. Now, only Mario Balotelli could pull off such a move with such ease. His refusal to conform to the norm turned what should have been a routine kit change into a memorable Balotelli moment. The man had a knack for keeping us entertained, even during halftime jersey swaps. And there you have it, a glimpse into the extraordinary world of Mario Balotelli. A man who could dazzle you with his talent one moment and leave you scratching your head with his antics the next. From fireworks in the bathroom to fashion statements on the field, Balotelli's life was a roller coaster ride that kept fans and foes alike on the edge of their seats. As we wrap up our journey through the enigmatic world of Super Mario, we've uncovered 10 crazy things you probably didn't know about this football maverick. It's safe to say that whether you loved him or found yourself baffled by his actions, there was never a dull moment when Balotelli was around. His story is a testament to the fact that in football, as in life, the most memorable characters are often the ones who color outside the lines. Want to see more videos like this? Maybe one where we show you the eight hidden gems from Barcelona's academy, La Masia. Click the video to watch who they are. You won't regret it.